Good damn morning, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. First of all, I must thank everyone who went to teespring.com via the link in the description box and purchased some green gear. There was a sale going on from Friday to Sunday, which was yesterday, and it was a record period of time for me. Thank you very much, and don't worry, the money that was stolen from the ashtray in my car by that tweaker piece of shit has been replaced thanks to you, Americans. I really appreciate that. I really mean it. Thank you for taking the time and giving some of your hard-earned money to me. Now, in this video, I'm going to cover three things. Number one, the wildfires in California. Gavin Newsom, you rotten piece of shit. And Bill Clinton, you too, you fucker. You're the one who started it all. Number two, Bidenist pervertus, his senility has made another appearance. Or is he really like that? Is he bullshitting? And number three, a couple new developments on the uh, happenings in Syria. You know, you remember when our well-trained Military men went in there and fucked that dude up. You know, the one who started ISIS, the one who is no more, the one who is down there with bin Laden's bitch ass, fucking goats and eating hummus. <laughs> oh, fuck them. Anyway, the wildfires in California. Let me give you a quick backstory on that. Because if you think... You look at the news and go, damn, another fire in California? Believe me, those of us who live there, here are like, do the fires ever go out? What is going on here? So, I believe it was back in 94, Bill Clinton had the bright idea to stop California from cleaning the underbrush, you know, dead trees, dead brush, because it endangered the spotted fucking owl. So since then, the loggers and stuff, because when they, they log the trees, they're supposed to come back through and clear out all that dead shit, all that fuel for a wildfire. So now there's another wildfire going on in Northern California, threatening a bunch of homes. Over 200,000 people have been evacuated. Homes, businesses have been fucking torched. My wife and I were watching the news last night. You could see, I think it was I-80, where the smoke was coming across the highway. People couldn't see. They were turning traffic around. Gridlock, people trying to get the... Just imagine being in your home with your family and them letting you know you need to leave. You need to pack up what you can in a short amount of time and leave because your home could be potentially burned to the ground. Then imagine staying in some shelter if you don't have relatives to stay with and coming back and there's nothing but charred remains of your home, your memories, your belongings, your pictures, your memories, gone. Why? Because they wanted to save a fucking spotted owl and because PG&E is incompetent. Pacific Gas and Electric. They're the only power company in California. They fucking suck. So does our government, because one of the few things our government is supposed to do for us is to break up monopolies, company monopolies. One company can't be the supplier for a major need, like electricity. PG&E is the only one. There, you've heard about the rolling blackouts in California. Two million people, one million have been without, they announced the other day. Another one million people are going to be without electricity so PG&E can repair transformers and different power lines to keep them from sparking wildfires. Guess what? One of the areas where PG&E was supposed to fix, there were sparks that started the fucking fire. PG&E, kill yourself. Whether you turn the power off or not, wildfires are happening. People are losing their property and their lives. Fuck you, disband, shut down your company, you're terrible at your fucking job. Awful. And the fact that our government allows you to exist is an indictment on them. The blood and property damage is on your fucking hands too, Gavin. 
What? How many wildfires do we need to have? How many people need to die? Remove, repeal, recall, whatever word you use, get rid of that bullshit law or rule that Clinton, act, Clinton enacted for that snow owl. Kill all those fucking spotted owls. I don't give a shit. I've never seen one. I've been in California my whole life. I've been in forests. I've been in rural areas. I've never fucking seen one. Fuck the spotted owl. Kill it. Stop these wildfires from happening. That's why we can't even have firecrackers in this bitch-ass state. We got shit that only goes two feet in the air and sparklers and, and black cats because of that bullshit. Clear the brush. Stop the chance of wildfires from happening and destroying people's lives, you fucking monsters. What's wrong with you? That's why we're having these wildfires. Just Google... Just Google California and it'll probably bring up the fucking wildfires. There's always a damn wildfire happening. Southern California is a goddamn wildfire happening. Shit. Shut down PG&E. Privatize it. Now, Gavin Newsom wants uh, Warren Buffett's uh, Berkshire Hathaway. They want his company to buy PG&E. I'll tell you this, the fact that Gavin Newsom wants it, I don't. Anything that fucker is for, I'm automatically against until proven otherwise. Something needs to happen, PG&E needs to go away, it needs to be privatized. Privatization creates what? Competition. Competi competition creates what? The best product available. If there were other electric companies in this state, it wouldn't matter if PG&E was incompetent and fucking worthless. If I know this, how come they don't know this? What's even worse, they do know it and they're not doing shit about it. I guarantee you one fucking thing. I guarantee you that Gavin Newsom, Becerra, and fucking Shalosi's bitch asses, I bet you their houses aren't up in flames. I bet you their rest, their... Neighborhoods aren't being evacuated, you fuckers. <sighs> anyway, <clears throat> number two, what are we going to get into now? Joe Biden, a.k.a. Bidenist Pervertis. I think he was in South Carolina or something, and they're asking him about some ladies like, what are you going to do about the Latino community? And I, <laughs> she did have an accent. <laughs> Anyway, she's asking this motherfucker what he's going to do to reach out to the Latino community or the Hispanic community. So, of course, Biden is pervertus. He stumbles over his words. He refers to uh, Fez, a.k.a. Julian Castro. He refers to him as Cisneros. And then he's like, oh, we've been reaching out to the African, I mean, the Latino community. Just as them portraying him as this poor old senile lost in the mall grandpa with fucking butterscotch candy in his pocket. I don't buy it. I've said it before. Look at the video of him talking about how he dealt with the Ukraine, how he was going to withhold money from the Ukraine unless they fired the prosecutor who was going after his son. He's very clear minded. He's very calculated. He's almost almost shark-like in the way that he describes it. That he was just cold-blooded, he was there to do business, I'm the man, and fuck you. That was last year, 2018. So you mean to tell me he went from Wolf of Wall Street to the fucking, hey, shuddy, you know where I can find your booty? <laughs> Is that what you're telling me? In a year, he went from that to some poor old man who can't get his words together? Bullshit. This is on purpose. This is part of his plan. Maybe he was more successful than they assumed. So, hey, Joe, you need to do something to kind of scale back your popularity. Why don't you start acting like an old man who can't figure out where he is? I don't buy it. I don't buy the teeth damn near coming out of his mouth. Him not knowing what state he's in. Uh, Cisneros, I mean Castro, Africa, oh, I mean Hispanic. I don't buy that shit. Check out that video. You watch that and tell me in less than a year, he went from that to a poor old man who needs help into his car. Man, please. I don't know about you, but I'm not buying that shit. Now, 
on to the third most important story. Trump. You know my video yesterday I did of him announcing uh, the death, the demise of that dog shit Abu, whatever the fuck his name is, the leader of ISIS. Well, it turns out that Shalosi and shit, I mean shit, no, I said it right, shit. Adam Schiff is a piece of shit. So they're mad because Trump shared the information about the raid with Russia and not them. Hello? It's because he can trust Russia more than you. Now, is that an indictment on Russia or is that an indictment on you crooked politician pieces of shit? I think it's the latter. I think you do need to look inward. You need to do some <laughs> inward, not inward. <laughs> That's just funny. Um, you need to look inside and do some soul searching and think to yourself, man, I must be fucking up pretty bad for my boss to go to another country before he comes to me with the information because he can't trust you pieces of shit. You're sick. You're ill. You're compromised. You have TDS. You're in the terminal stages. You're not long for this political world. He can't fucking trust you. Why? So you can tweet out some information that puts our military men in danger? You leaking some shit? You talking to that dude? What's the dude's name in the nice suits on MSNBC? Oh yeah, Ricky Maddow. So you can talk to that fucking dude? So you can leak some shit to Donna Lamone, the greasy lit bitch at CNN? So you can tell anybody in the main, one of the mainstream mediocres? Fuck you! Trump was born at night, not last night. He can't trust you. That's you. That's your problem. Not Russia. That doesn't speak to any Russian collusion. It speaks to you guys being leaky pieces of shit. He said shit. He said shit was the leakiest motherfucker in D.C. And he is. Followed closely by Nancy Pelosi, a.k.a. David Lopan. That liver-spotted ancient bitch. That demon. He can't trust you. He's too dedicated to the American people. You know, his employers. So he can't trust you. You've broken that trust. It cannot be repaired. It's like a relationship. Once you cheat, once you break that trust, it's over. Without trust, there is nothing. We can't rebuild it. I can't trust you. You got to pack up your shit and get the fuck out, you dirty whore. Hell, he'd be a fool. He would be a fucking fool to share that information with you. You damn right he's not going to tell you. You're going to find out the same time as the rest of us. Man, fuck you guys. You're, you're in the middle of trying to impeach this man. He's going to give you any information? Hell no. <laughs> man, get the fuck out of here. Of course he's not going to tell you. You... <laughs> Dumbasses. And the parents of the girl, Kayla Mueller, who the mission was named after. That's right. The mission to go kill that motherfucker was in the memory of the girl who was killed by ISIS in 2015. Kayla Mueller. It turns out her parents went to visit uh, Abu Sayyaf's Wife. He was another one of the top ISIS members who got whacked in 2015. They went over there against the advice of the FBI and talked to her. People, if you don't have kids, I don't mean to sound cliche, but you just don't understand. And this was two parents out of pure love for their daughter who had to know. We have to know. Can we get, a, can we get her body to bring her back home so she can be buried in her, in her home? What happened to her? They needed to know. So they went and sat down with this rotten bitch, and she told him, Abu Bakari, or whatever his fucking name is, the dead guy, he kept her, and she, they also spoke to other women who had escaped his control. And they told her she was kept in dark, cold places. 
She was tortured and Abu raped her himself and killed her. That motherfucker. She was tortured, sexually assaulted, and murdered. And General Milley had the idea to dedicate this mission to her. That's awesome. How do you think that makes her parents feel? That the president cares. The man up on that big mountain cares about lowly little Kayla Mueller. Really? She was a regular citizen just like me and you. I don't ever get on the president's radar, do you? And unfortunately, she had to get on his radar in this manner, which is fucking terrible. Which is why we sent those U.S. soldiers to kill that piece of shit. And we are not done. But I didn't know that yesterday when I did the video. I didn't read that until this morning that it was for her, which is great. I mean, what can you say to these people? What can you do for them that's going to take this hurt away? That's going to fill this hole in their heart that was put there by a fucking monster. Well, the only thing you can do is dedicate the mission to her and whack the motherfucker who did it. That's been done. Check and check. So, people, it's Monday, which means it's Saturday to me, which means it's my weekend. Uh, so let me get up in it. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, because every time it rings, a piece of shit liberal cries. <laughs> Utilize the PayPal link and the Teespring link to get your green gear. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.